Helplessness is something that we learn in our lives. And my favorite example of that, which I guess I shouldn't say favorite, my most, the most powerful example of that I've seen is of elephants that are born into the circus, right? From a very young age, when they're first born, when they're small and they're defenseless, they have a chain wrapped around their foot and a stake put in the ground to keep them safe, but also to train them. And as they're small, they try to yank their foot away. They try to get out of the chain, they try to get out of the tether, and they can't do it. And so over time, from trying and trying and trying over and over again, they eventually learn there's no use. It's learned helplessness. They weren't born helpless. They learned their helplessness. So then when they become full-grown elephants, thousands of pounds heavier than the people that are training them, and could easily snap the chain by barely even moving, they don't try. They don't try. And that's the experience we have in our world, is if we've been conditioned and programmed for so long to be okay with being a prisoner, to having this learned helplessness, then nothing changes. There's something we can do about this. Helplessness is learned. What about optimism? Can optimism be learned? Can we teach people to be optimistic? Optimism is a mindset and a system of thinking, right? Possibility-based thinking, like I mentioned. It's not a personality trait, right? Going back to the not having a permanent pervasive personality, it's not a personality trait, it's not like a sixth toe, you know, something you're born with, like a vestigial tail, it's, it's just a system of thinking, of thoughts.